Kibbutz is in ruins and it was our small happy place, our safe haven. It was, a, no, it was our heaven. We are peaceful people. They just came in and slaughtered entire families and elders and babies. In what name? Why? We're hearing more of the heartbreaking stories of survival. The USC Shoah Foundation has been working to share their voices to help shape our understanding of the attacks. Executive Director Rob Williams is here this morning with a look back at how history really did change that day. Thank you so much for being with us this Thank morning. Thank you for having me. Can you talk a little bit about, we just shared some of the testimonies you're gathering. Why are you doing this and why is it important? Two reasons, really. One is for the long term. You need to create a collection of records so that you can understand these events over time so you can better analyze them with the remove of history. The other is more immediate. We hope that these testimonies can provide at least one point for Israeli society and for the region to begin to heal after these disastrous attacks. Is there anything you're learning as you're gathering these testimonies that you're surprised about? We anticipated that the vast majority of testimonies when we began taking them in the field about a week after the attacks, would come only from victims from the southern part of Israel. Mm. What we found was that Israelis, Bedouin Arabs, and others came to the region, witnessed the attacks because they were there to help rescue people. The diversity of people caught up in these events was something that we were not prepared for and has been a, a real moment of learning and solidarity. Uh, at this time. That's really fascinating. You know, there's been so much focus on the Nova Music Festival yeah. um, and what happened that day there. So, so many of the testimonies from there are so emotional. There's one man who actually says the music for him has stopped playing. Mm -hmm. I, I'm assuming you're hearing those types of things over and over again. You hear both sides. You hear people who are hoping to revive the spirit that led to the, the Nova Festival, an opportunity for people to come together. But you're also hearing from hostage families who are saying that the music cannot resume until the hostages are returned. We want to play a little bit um, of the sound that you've gathered. Let's go ahead and do that. It's like, why me and not them? Why, why those beautiful souls, you know, like, why my... Ed, uh, I had more than few friends that made really good to this world, you know, like, bright souls. I miss them. Yeah, I miss my friends. I hope I will uh, dance again one day. And, uh... mm. What can you tell us about the long-term impacts of these attacks? It changes over time. You see this after all mass acts of violence. There's an immediate response, but then over time, can take years, in some cases decades, people begin to remember what they've repressed. They've begun to understand the psychological trauma that was dealt to them. And in healthy cases, begin to use that to teach lessons for a better future. You know, I know even before this attack happened, we were doing stories on how anti-Semitism was on the rise already. Mm -hmm. These attacks happened. We've continued to see the rise of anti-Semitism. What's being done to combat that through your organization? We are working on multiple fronts. We have offices both here and in Washington, D.C., actually, where I live. We are trying to work with policymakers, with elected officials and civil servants on both coasts. We are working with journalists, and we are training future leaders, including athletes, to recognize anti-Semitism and hatred in all of their forms mm. so that they can use their platforms to speak out, and in the case of D.C., hopefully shape policies for a more peaceful future. Why are athletes important? At the end of the day, you need somebody for my kids to look up to. Mm. And athletes, for uh, lack of a better explanation, are a little less encumbered by popularity polls and a little more willing to speak out more often than not. Oh, that's interesting. Well, thank you so much for being here this morning. We really appreciate you coming in, especially from D.C. Thanks. <laughs> uh, for more information on the USC Show of Foundation, just go to our website, kcalnews.com. Click Scene on TV. Ruta Bay? Thank you. Amazing interview.